Awesome. All right. Okay, now what we're talking about, we learned a couple chapters ago about conjugating regular AR verbs. Uh, today what we're going to be talking about is we're actually going to be talking about conjugating ER and IR verbs. So, ER, IR verb. Okay, what's a verb conjugation? Why do we conjugate verbs? Just to remind us. To make the verb match the subject. Yeah, to make the verb match the subject. To say, instead of saying to eat, we say I eat, or you eat, or he eats. Okay, but changing it to match who it is that's actually doing the verb. Alright, now I'm going to review the AR verb conjugations just to remind us, and then we also have something to look at as we go over the new ones. AR. In a regular AR verb conjugation, it's in the yo form, the I form. What is, what is the ending? We normally will drop the AR and we add what? Oh. Like hablar becomes hablo. Two form would be what? As, okay, tu hablas, el usted, a, el habla, ella habla, usted habla, nosotros, hablamos, okay, nosotros hablamos, and again, vosotros, we don't really worry about, because we are in Southern California, that would be habláis, and, or ice, A-I-S, and, uh, for E-R, sorry, ellos, ellos, ustedes, is ellos hablan, to remind us. Now, this should be something that you already know. It makes sense. If you haven't learned this quite yet, you need to got some work to do. Now, we are going to go over our ER and IR verb conjugations. If, because how many endings are there for verbs? Three. AR, IR, ER, and IR. Right. So we're going to have them all right here. So when we have a verb, this is an ER verb, okay, and we want to conjugate it. Now let's put up our pronouns here just to help us. Yo, tu, el, ella, usted, nosotros, okay, ellos, ellas, ustedes. Okay, to remind us, remember, first person, second person, third person. If you ever have a hard time with that. On a regular ER verb, okay, and I say regular because the regular verbs will follow this pattern, you drop the ER, and in the yo form, what are you going to add? Any ideas? Oh. In the to form, okay, you're going to drop the ER and you're going to add okay. ES, S. In the LA instead form, you're going to drop the ER and add. Nosotros form. You're going to drop the ER and you're going to add. Hemos. And in the AOC ustedes form, you're going to drop the ER and add. N. So those are our endings for regular ER verbs. All right. So for an example, what's an ER verb we know? Let's use comer. What does comer mean? ¿Qué significa? Eat. To eat. Bien. Two parts to a verb. One of them is the ending. What's the other part? The flower. Stem. I don't know the conjugate part of the flower is. But the stem, okay? The ending is the ER. The stem is the rest of the word, the beginning of the word. And it's called a stem because what happens to it during conjugations? Space breaks off. Yeah, nothing happens. The stem stays the same. It's the ending that we get rid of and replace with one of these. So we have the verb comer, and if I want to say I eat, I'm going to say yo como. Now we learn that word as how or like or as. How do we know it means I eat? How we use it. For example, if I said what is red? Well, I mean, it's just in English. What's red? Red. It's a color. So if I read a book, what is that? I colored a book? Past tense of read. So how 
did you know? It is. How do you know when I said it that I was talking about how it's being used? The shirt is red, okay? It doesn't mean it's got a bunch of words on it and it has been read already. It means most likely it's the color red. Or if I said I read a book, we know it's past sensory because of how it's being used. That's kind of how como is. If I say, oh, yo como el almuerzo, that means I eat lunch. Not I how much or I like much, as far as like or ask. All right, the two form. If we want to say you eat, tu comes. comes. Okay. El e usted, he, she, or you eat, we would say come. El come, ella come, usted come. Nosotros, we eat, is comemos. Nosotros comemos. And ellos say es ustedes. Comen. Yo. So that's how we use it. So if, what about correr? What's that? To run. To run. So if I said, ustedes corren. There you go. That's our conjugations. Now let's talk about the IR verbs now. Uh oh. But more. Oh man. No, not the verb ear, but the verbs that end in IR. Like this one. Vivir. That's an IR verb. Because it ends in IR. Okay? The reason how you know it's not the verb to go is because of this. The little lines there, it's showing it's a suffix. It's the end of a word. Okay. Let's go over these conjugations. In the yo form, you drop the IR and you add O. You drop the, in the two form, you drop the IR and add S. The L A U stand for me. Drop the I R. You add. Hey, look at you guys. You're on to something. The nosotros for me. Drop the I R and add. I M O S. Ha ha. Okay. Don't worry about the E I S or I S. Sorry. Hey, Jose, you stand this would be. N. So, take a look real quick at. The ER and AR verbs. What do you notice about these these sets right here? Are they similar? Except for what? Yeah, instead of an A, you're putting an E in all these. Now, what's the similarities and differences between these two? They're exactly the same except for nosotros. So right there, you've got some connections. Okay. If you know the AR verbs, change A to an E. You know the ER verbs. If you know the ER verbs. Change the nosotros to I and you know the IR verbs, and that's it. So they're all pretty much very similar with the differences. Real quick to finish off, we're just going to use an example verb here so you can see it being used. We're going to go back to our uh, vivir verb. What is vivir? To live. So if I were to say I live, I would say yo, yo vivo. Remember, you guys learned vivo en, we're talking about where you live, right? Vivo en, la casa. If I want to say you live, tu vives, bien. If I want to say he or she lives, él, ella vive, or usted vive, what's usted vive? You, you formal, you live formal, though. like you're speaking to somebody formally. If I want to say we live, I say what? Vivimos, and if I want to say they live, Viven.